Hey YouTube, Herbal Prepper here, and today I wanted to talk to you about uh, purifying your water. Now there are multiple ways you can do it. You can use tincture of iodine, which comes in a little bottle like this. Um, you can use boiling, filtering, or you can use chemicals to render it biologically safe to drink. Now, why am I showing you a picture of pool shock? Well, because it stores for three to five years, according to my local pool supply guy. Um, in comparison to the six months your liquid chlorine bleach stores. Now, I went to the EPA's website because I wanted to get more information, and they say this. Um, you can add and dissolve a heaping te teaspoon of high-test granular calcium hypochlorite, approximately a fourth of an ounce, to each two gallons of water, which makes a stock. Now, what do they consider high test? They don't really say. So, what I've done is I've emailed them to find out exactly, and they should get back with me in like three to five business days, to find out exactly what percentage of calcium hypochlorite do they consider to be high test. I've seen online some people say 73, some people say 76, some say 78, but according again to my local uh, pool supply guide, 73 is considered high test because that's usually what most people carry. Now, if you continue to read along the EPA's website, they go on to say, um, let me see, t -t 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 -t. The mixture will produce a stock chlorine solution of approximately 500 milligrams per liter. Since the calcium hypochlorite has available chlorine equal to 70% of its weight. That's where I say, okay, I, you know, I'm good with the 73% because it lists right here minimum 70% available chlorine. Now, Another reason why I'd prefer to stock um, pool stock is because, if you look right here, one pound of this treats uh, over 16,000 gallons of water. Now that's a lot of water. You can help a lot of people and yourself and not, you know, run, run short. Um, this, I want to say, I, I got two pounds and it was like 11 bucks, guys. So, I mean, I'm sure you can order it online for cheaper. Um, I'm a kind of buyer that likes to see, touch, and feel the things that I purchased. That's um, just how I am. But um, if you guys run across any other information, I want you to please notify me and post it here. But I also quickly wanted to tell you why you should store um, a little bottle like this with a dropper with your water purification. Um, you want to do that for uh, reasons that this is so sensitive as far as dosage that you need drops and you do not want to overdo it. Now they say if it smells strong of chlorine then that's usually good and if you want to um, kind of take away that chlorine taste to sit and pour it back and forth into clean and so it'll uh, the fumes will kind of evaporate a bit. But um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. This is what I'm doing. I'm storing this with this in a uh, container. Do not store this with metal, guys. As you can read the dangers right here, um, you don't want to store this with other chemicals uh, because it may explode or um, cause a fire. So with that being said, guys, I hope this is a blessing to you, and I hope that if you are storing a bunch of liquid bleach, you go out there and change it out for the calcium hypochlorite because this is what local city um, filters use uh, when they are filtering your sewage water back into uh, drink drinkable water that comes out of your faucet. So anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think and if you have any other available information please post it in the comments and also check the links below because I'm going to be posting those from the EPA. Thanks!